Welcome mates, so I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Yunkami Lordy, and so back on Halo Infinite with more major news that you don't want to miss out of as we talk about the lack of content, how there isn't enough content in the game, followed by what they're doing next to add new stuff to the game, being playlists, game modes, and so much more. Either way, this will be a fun video. Before we do into this video, there is only a small percentage of mates to watch the video that are actually subscribed. Live like, show support, click the subscribe button to keep up to date. Press that join button to become a member on the channel. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. And thanks to all the mates that were part of the live stream earlier today. It was really, really fun. And now we jump into some of the topics that we discussed a bit in the live stream, but we're gonna discuss a lot more here. And that being not enough content in the game. When it comes to Halo Infinite's multiplayer, you have your playlist, you have your game modes, which are connected to those playlists, you have your gameplay experience alongside progression being tied to the battle pass and doing your challenges. And this comes to a point when you've completed all your weekly challenges, completed all your daily matches, and then you don't feel like there's much of a purpose to even play the game, especially if you're not getting the same game modes that you want to play, being Slayer. The majority of people want to gravitate towards Slayer because it's quite fun, but also there's other game modes in the future that we haven't got yet on day one launch or any type of update in the most recent weeks, compared to previous Halo games when they have the game modes tied to the game initially, and then add different game modes in the future. So you usually have a lot more game modes to choose from, not a playlist that highlights a whole group of game modes put into it. You can actually choose the individual game mode and play that game mode all the time. So if I want to play Slayer for my challenge, I can. You play Slayer all the time. You play a game mode that you enjoy all the time, go for it. You can, but in Halo Infinite, you cannot do that. And that's the reason why it feels like it's lacking content. Obviously, there's not enough maps, followed up by the other aspects of the customization, the microtransactions and how all that works, all the downsides towards that. It's still there, and that combination put together makes plays discouraged to even play Halo Infinite for long periods of time, which is completely understandable. But we know 343 Industries is listening. So the question is now, what are they going to do next? When it comes to these game modes, the lack of content, what is actually going to occur? And it looks like we've got a couple of answers. So the first part is from John, a community manager at 343 Industries, and he had to say this. Let's talk about Halo Infinite playlist. We've been reading your feedback and working on our plans to add for yes that Tactical Slayer, which is squad, and free fall playlists as we speak. They don't land by December 8th, but the team is pushing to get them in before the end of the year. So that's good to hear that we got these game modes coming in sometime in the near future being Fiesta being re-added into the playlist, Tactical Slayer coming back being SWAT, which is the headshot only game mode, or headshots pretty much win game game mode. Really fun, it's pretty much a novelty behind Halo franchise. Freefall is also a crazy experience, especially on maps when you get to highlight the sniper in action in Freefall, it is insanely fun. So that is some good indications, but we're not gonna get on the launch update on December 8th, it's gonna be later on. They say before the end of the year, so most likely towards the end of New Year, for 2021, entering 2022, we'll have the content there. So that's really nice to see those players come in some time point, obviously a couple of weeks from now, which means many players will be discouraged to even play the game because of that. But we have some more subtweeting by John highlighting, our goal for events is to try new modes prior to adding to the playlist. We'll monitor playlist health after the three additions above and adjust our offering if needed. But we're excited to make these updates before the holidays. This is just the start of the conversation with you all. So this is very interesting to see. So it seems like they want to test and see how it works with the playlist. Plot polarity between these playlists or game modes. What would end up happening? Will other games be more affected? It can be more played and other ones be neglected. That happens in a couple games. So most likely it could be happening here. There's too many selections of game modes without a playlist. But then we have another subtweet by John highlighting a social slayer playlist with multiple variations is also in the work. We see this request the most, but we won't be able to get that one ready until after the holidays. We hope you can understand and enjoy the ones that make it in before the team takes a well-deserved break. And then we have another tweet by Joseph. The more playlists we have, the more fragmented plays get, making it hard for people to find matches quickly. At the start of a beta, we want to ensure quicker matches and that meant fewer playlists. And a subtweet by Joseph as well is, so not a philosophical thing, Slay is a great mode. It was a decision to make sure we could simultaneously stress the systems we needed to test in a beta say while still giving all of you a great matchmaking experience. So pretty much highlight their testing servers in beta phases, which is a good thing, but the same aspect is that there is a lot of desync issues right now with the game as well. That's a whole different topic, most likely that we can jump into deep if you may want to talk about that in the future, we can. And then we also have a tweet by Tashi, the Halo Esports and Viewership Lead at Microsoft slash 343 Industries, highlighting a potential update for multiplayer in Halo Infinite 
on the launch day. And he had to say this, we should see more stability when the 12.8 update drops. And that's good to see. I'm hoping this is connected to the desync issues. If not, just think stability overall within the game is a great thing to see. So less crashing, less problems. That is really good because right now in rank scene, every time you go into rank, it's a 3v4, not enough players. It's just so awful to play. So seeing this being fixed will help out with optimization overall against all platforms being Xbox and also PC and all PC parts that you can actually utilize in this game. Those are my thoughts and opinions about the topics that we discussed today, but tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below as I invite you mates for a discussion in the comment section down below. And as always mates, it is a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we go through this and I'll catch you mates next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it mates.